Good morning. It is now 612 and we're seeing temperatures in the low to mid 60s for just about everyone as you're starting off your day. Now, one other thing we are seeing is some pretty high wind gusts already today, mainly down towards our southeastern county. So you see spots like Cochrane already about 18 miles per hour. Vienna, very similar down there. Abbeville at 16, but spots like Macon, Warner Robins, nothing significant just yet. But during the afternoon, they are once again going to be ranging from about 15 to 20 miles per hour, along with those high temperatures. Looks like it's just going to be a little bit cooler once again, maybe a high between 83 and 84 for just about every spot that you see over here. Okay, so as we continue on and talk about what is going on in the tropics, well, we do have a potential tropical wave developing just off the coast of Costa Rica and Nicaragua down there. Now this is going to continue to move up towards the north, up into this direction. And when it's in this area right here, there's about an 80% chance of development over the next five days. So there's a chance that it could become a tropical depression, not a tropical storm just yet. But if it does turn into one rather shortly, there is potential for this to become a tropical storm within the next few days. Now, one other thing we're looking at when it comes to the track of this thing is that it looks pretty consistent early on, maybe making a quick landfall in either Nicaragua or up into Honduras before crossing through the Yucatan Peninsula. But as we get a little bit closer towards the United States, it's a little bit more scattered. Of course, this is very, very far out. It looks like it could track up through Mississippi, maybe right through Biloxi before it comes up into the Huntsville, Birmingham area up into Alabama. So overall, this thing looks like it's going to move pretty quickly. So if it does develop, I think it's unlikely that it becomes a stronger hurricane, but it could still very well become a tropical storm. And if it does, this will be tropical storm Nate. Now, what exactly are we thinking when it comes to this system? Overall, the timing is going to be between Saturday and Monday if it does reach the coast. If you live in a spot like New Orleans, you're going down to a spot like New Orleans during the weekend, it looks like it could be reaching you on Saturday. But as far as we're concerned here in Georgia, I think Sunday to Monday is going to be the best timing for when we can see some rain. Now, as far as our main threats, heavy rain is certainly going to be it. There are some models predicting us getting maybe two to three inches of rain between both Sunday and Monday. Thunderstorms are certainly going to be possible. And if this thing does become a tropical storm, we could see wind gusts close to 30 miles per hour. But if it remains a depression, I think breezy conditions should be unlikely for a lot of that time. Now here's going to be a final look at your fishing game forecast brought to you by Harrison's Body Shop. The best time for the afternoon is going to be at about 140 and coming up in just a bit. I'm going to have a look at your fair forecast for the weekend.